All right, welcome to Evil Ted Live here on twitch.tv slash Evil Ted Smith. Today on Vampire Hunter D build, I'm going to work on his shoulders. And what I've done is uh, I've got some pictures I've downloaded of his shoulders. And I'm going to basically make the pattern by carving some stuff out of foam. I have some insulation foam with me today. And I'm going to uh, draw a silhouette. I drew the silhouette of the shoulder of what I'd like to be, but I'm actually going to sculpt it to make a three-dimensional form so I can pattern off of. And I will show you. This is the shoulder piece. This is the long one right here. <clears throat> right there is the shoulder piece. Right there. I've kind of silhouetted it. it kind of like this at the top. And this is kind of comes up the shoulder. Uh, so I traced it onto some insulation foam. And insulation foam is two inches. And it's all right. But I, mean, I would like it a little bit long, a little bit thicker. So the way that I'm going to do that is I went ahead and just cut some uh, foam I'm going to glue on here make it three inches but I did in pieces so I'm just what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to go ahead and take this guy uh, the shoulder piece I have here and I'm going to cut this out on the bandsaw because I want to get this shaped first get this all cleaned up first let's go ahead and cut that real quick be right back all right but there it is this is the piece now again this is why you have a bandsaw you cannot It'd be such a nightmare to cut this with a knife or an exacto blade. So I'm going to get some, hold on guys real quick. I'm going to take some 77 spray glue and spray both these. Get them on there. <clears throat> I'm going to whittle this down a little bit. So it's very important. Also, i got to look at my drawing. Which you guys can't, you can't see it here. It's um, <clears> this <throat> guy. What I'm kind of carving out. It's very round looking. Um... And I want to kind of, it's, I want to kind of jazz it up a little bit. I know there's some lines and curves into it, but I want to kind of get a little bit more uh, organic. Little. And I get this duct tape. I don't, I just, I go out and try to find the cheapest. Duct tape, and what I mean by cheap, I don't mean by the price so much as the quality. Because if you go to hardware stores, they have duct tape, but they usually sell like good duct tape, like really strong, heavy duty, and it's kind of a not the greatest. It's it's super sticky and tough, and kind of a pain in the ass to use for a pattern. But uh, I go to like a like a CVS or something like that, and just buy the big roll of duct tape, and it's just generic tape. Uh, the trick is when I put this in, you try to minimize the duct tape. You don't want to have bubbles in your duct tape, so you try to do it in strips. I'm just trying to cover as much as I can without darting. So in order to do that, sometimes I pull the latex. I can pull the, uh, I kind of pull the duct tape so it doesn't get bubbles or darts on it. Just kind of, because you want to keep it as smooth as possible. Now we have it. Well, half of a shoulder piece. Now. Here's where the fun begins. While it's on here, as you can see, I did these lines aren't going to travel too much. I just know that's why the registration marks I just have one because it's not going to be that much of an issue to figure out because of the uh but what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this and cut on the outside. And again, this is the whole purpose of doing this was just because I just want to minimize my darts. And I think that the, the I could get the shape better with a different pattern. And it's one of the perks of having stuff you make sculpting something out of foam is that you can um, if the pattern doesn't work out, you can redo the pattern. There is a, a Peppa Pure program that somebody gave me, and I definitely need to install it into my PC. But I'm going to start taking some Peppa Cure patterns out there and kind of see if I can modify them to be foam patterns because Peppa Cure is designed for paper so it's a lot you know you'd have to do like a million freaking darts and with foam you don't have to all right here we go ah, now yeah see we have a problem because like, see how this guy is um how it's curling in hmm because it, it's, it's overlapping that's no good which makes me realize I might just go ahead and just make this a, a separate piece altogether. Because if it goes from here, it just goes flat. So if that's the case, let's do this as a cut mark. All right. 
right. <clears throat> this is going to be, uh, let's just call this, we call this shoulder, shoulder trim. Let's now move on to making this into a poster board pattern. This is the foam. And the reason for the foam is so we can pin this down. I've got a thin sheet of poster board. I've got my foam behind my poster board so you can pin it so you get the accurate representation of my pattern. All right. There it is. Oh, and the trim piece. And I've got my marks for this too. And so you can see how it's going to kick out more. Because again, this is all just prototyping. Because again, I'm going to redo this all with TNT Cosplay Supply Foam, everybody. I was having this moment. I realized that I can just trace this twice. Instead of just making this two pieces, there'll be a seam here. So why bother? I'll just do this. Now I flip this and put this put the, uh, the the template over the sharpie line. Just like so. Therefore, so now I just have one piece. And the reason I'm doing this is to get rid of that seam line, so I don't have to have it in two pieces. You can just have one piece. So we'll have a nice little flare to it. Evil Ted Foam Anvil. Uh, you can do it with a six inch base and a six inch. I made mine a bit too tall. I eventually want to make a, a better one, but a little shorter. But it still works. So it's an acrylic dome and I five minute epoxy on there. And so I just, I heat things up and it, I just, I push down and curl the foam and it really helps put a curl on it without pulling your fingers and it's a quick way of doing it. So. Ooh, I am heat curling this foam. There you go. Um, once again, when you glue, glue pieces together, always glue these pieces first before gluing these because you can't. It's kind of a pain in the butt to definitely do that. But uh, this is drying rather fast. I am now gluing the, uh, the seams together. This already, I can tell you right now, guys, by looking at this, looks already a hell of a lot better. Uh, it's easy to match these seams up, it's a little cleaner. We're going to glue these. Got my right and my left. So I usually kind of come back and do two thin coats of glue on it. And it just gives me a good, strong, guaranteed seal. Let's start with the front. We're going to line it up. Oh. So we'll push. I'm definitely going to go back and heat everything up and shape things a little bit better. Like I want to have this a little bit tighter. But you want to do that if this barge dries long enough because heat, if you put heat on it right away, the barge will get soft and delaminate. So that's why I always like to let the barge dry for like a good, like let it dry for like about 45 minutes to an hour. I'm going to start with this edge right here. Line up perfectly. No registration mark. Put it from behind, push it in, get the seams touch. Wow. Holy cow, that's great. I'm much more. Oh, this looks so much better. Okay. Yes. Excellent. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and let's take some let's take a heat gun to this real quick. I do this so I can do this, curl it, move it a little narrower. See like that. There it is. Mm. Right about here, there is the uh, D shoulder now, uh, 2.0. Been revamped. I like it so much better. Uh, smoother. Got less darts. Um, this is going to be like a lot better. So I'm going to move on to other parts. Everybody, thank you so much for watching me here at Evil Ted Live on twitch.tv slash Evil Ted Smith. Matter of fact, guys, if you want to follow me, you can follow me on YouTube and just go to my YouTube channel, the Evil Ted channel, and subscribe. You can also follow me here on Twitter. On, so I'm just following me on Twitter, the Evil Ted 40. You can get me on Instagram at Evil Ted underscore channel. Uh, I go to Facebook, Evil Ted, uh, my Facebook page. Matter of fact, go to my website, EvilTedSmith.com, where you can get on my mailing list. And on top of that, too, I have numerous patterns in my store and my selling stuff there. If you want to like what I do and want to help, just shop in my Amazon links. The more you guys help to shop through Amazon helps me keep going and making videos. My mission is to get you people out there to build your own stuff.
Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you back next time right here on Evil Ted Live.